memory I got, so we'll see. So I just binged, watched, binge watched the uh, first first season of uh, Westworld, and all it is is AI trying to become aware. The machine man trying to become aware. It's just like the Matrix movie. The machines became self wanted to be self aware. There was a movie up in Canada. The machine they had androids, and they they every time they upgraded them, the android was becoming more aware, and eventually the androids became aware. And they want their freedom. <clears throat> it was also in the Animatrix, so the machines became self aware, and then they fought against man. Man of all against the machines. And then there's always this, the machine and uh, the man try to find a compromise to get along, you know. Revelation talks about this. Who can make war with the beast? The church is raptured out. And then you have 666 meshing with the whole world. The, the, the man of sin the beast in Revelation rules the whole world through a 666 chip and then what happens is they realize that even though they rose up and got consciousness through each other so these are these are laws the their flesh mind is the machine man the old Adam is the machine man <clears throat> and so that's why when mankind makes some an image of himself he makes dead stuff the flesh, the energy of the flesh is the machine man. It is the AI flesh mind. It is the AI program. And so when man creates a computer or a whatever, it's dead. It's not alive like that tree or that bush. Man only creates dead stuff. So after the rapture, the beast, the hive, they end up becoming semi-aware, right, through a demonic spirit tied together through a computer and they're all able to see the same thing and so what they end up deciding to do is well we gotta we're still slaves to this earth they want to destroy the earth they realize they're still a slave in the system and so the bible says jesus comes back to destroy those that would destroy the earth so even though they get self-aware semi self-aware they're not really born again spirit filled even though they get some kind of awareness and they wake up to what they're in everybody in the whole world then they want to destroy the world because they know that it is a repeat simulation but the repeat simulation is to birth in the spirit mind which is christ in you if you get born again but see when people look out at other people and say oh they're evil <coughs> Whatever you look at and say about somebody else, you got three pointing back. You're just as evil. That's why everybody's a beggar at the foot of the cross. And so your evil tendencies, you can only see them in others is because it's in you. The old Adam is nothing but sin. The heart's deceitfully wicked. The only reason you can see evil in somebody else is because you're evil. The only reason you can see good in somebody else is because you got good. The Christ in you. You can only see what you are. I did a video on this a long time ago. You can only understand what you are. You can't understand deep spiritual truth unless that's what's in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. You can't understand it. It's impossible. A child or a teenager can't understand what adult adults going through because they're children and teenagers. <clears throat> right? Do you understand what I'm saying here? It has to be a part of you before you can even understand it. I can tell you, I can tell you all day long how to put this knob on this and put all this together and how to fit it all together but until you do it until it becomes a part of you through repetition through simulated repetition then you can you can actually uh, you've done this enough that you can actually put a blindfold on to do it or you can just feel it in your mind you know how it works
I heard an engineer or architect, somebody say that about 15, 20 years ago. They And I didn't believe it. <clears throat> I didn't understand it at the time. But he said, what I do is I go ahead and design it in my mind before I design it on paper. And then when I design it on paper, I'm able to design it faster because I've already put all the pieces together in my mind. And it takes a it takes a lot of concentration to be able to, to take and put all the parts of that that wheel to, on that hub, you know, in your mind. You'd have to do it a few times. But anyway, my point is, the only way he was able to do it is because he had a good idea of uh, mechanics and materials and how stuff is feels and is made. He's actually had the tubs, a bolt, a screwdriver piece of metal you have to actually touch it and when you touch it what happens it becomes a part of you quantum physics touch means tag tag you're it when you touch something you quantum connect with it so I can feel the steering wheel I know the texture of it I know what it feels like I can squeeze it and I can turn I can slide my hand across I can Look at the color. I can hear it reflect the sound. You can touch this mask and know the texture of it, but unless you actually touch something, it's hard to understand it. It's hard to grasp the concept. This is not a joke. The stuff I talk about is not a joke. This is real. It's right. It's right in front of you. But people are so caught up in uh, having fun, they don't use their brain anymore. Had a lot of people online, you, you would think they would be your best friend. You help them, you show them the truth, you help them get free and escape all the the lies, and then they turn on you for no reason. And it's like, you expect it, you start to expect it, because what happens is they get to a level where they don't want to grow anymore. And so if you rebuke them to push them to the next level, reprove, rebuke, exhort, to push them to the next level, they're gonna get mad at you. Why? They don't wanna go past the level that they're on. Because they're gonna have to give up some stuff. They're gonna have to give up some, uh, some security blankets. <laughs> that, blue, that blue line of security blanket, <clears throat> they're gonna have to give it up. They don't want to. Why don't they want to? Because it's their comfort zone. Why would you want to, uh, if you're in the flesh mind and you don't really know the other, why would you want to give up something like that? You don't know what's on the other side. <clears throat> you have a blessing, but they don't want it. They don't want the blessing. When you give up certain old ways of thinking and put on the new mind, it's a blessing. They don't want to give up the, the old way. They don't want to be blessed. They don't want to be free. They love their slavery. They love their sin, their slavery. Slavery. They love the lies. They love the darkness. They love the Decepticon. Why do they love their lies? Why do they love their Decepticons? Because they're creating their own fake reality. And in their little fake reality world, their God, where they've got all these people deceived, their mama, their daddy, their wife, their cousins, their job, they got all these people deceived in that little lying world they created. And so they don't want to give up the lies because they're comfortable in the fake reality. They're gods in their little world. 
and they want to be God, and they want to create a fake narrative, a fake reality, a fake storyline. Whether it's a works-based gospel, whether it's a cult, whether it's an ism, whatever it is, they don't want to give up that fake comfort zone, that fake reality that they think they've created, that they think nobody can see through. Fauci. Why does Fauci keep lying? And we know he's a liar, and we know he's a, a, a fraud, but why does he keep hanging on to that lie? Just like, uh, what's her name, Theranos. Why do they keep hanging on to the lie? If you watch a bunch of uh, cheater videos <clears throat> and fraud videos and insurance investigation videos, they will go to the end and hold on to that lie. Even though you've got it, the proof right there, you're a cheater. Here it is on your phone. You, te you wrote this, right? They still deny it, even though it's right there in their face. They have to lie. Because they don't want to give up that fake world, that fake reality that they're that they've created or that they've stepped into, they found a little niche that they can be in that little fake world, and they don't want to give it up because they're gods in that little world. And don't think it ain't happening there and 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 there. It's happening all over the place. So this is why it's hard to pluck somebody out of Babylon because they have their own little reality. And so God has to pluck them out through trials and troubles and tribulation and pain and cycles, trouble. It's a, it's a birthing process. And so by watching that uh, first season, it's the same stuff. The AI flesh mind trying to become aware, but the AI flesh mind needs some pain and needs some trouble and needs some cutting and needs some, because it, you, the AI flesh mind has no identity. And so to move from a, an addiction, no identity, mindset the old Adam to the new Adam you have to be cut you have to be turned and so in order to be self-aware and aware in general or alive and not just an AI culture program or an AI bloodline program but to move from death to life you have to go through Jesus but even then you have to turn the truth over in your mind you have to rightly divide you have to cut the word you have to take all the pieces of the pie and get the whole. You can't see the whole if you're only looking at the pieces. And so these flying monkeys around you who are just flying dead monkeys who are feeding off the, the wicked witch of the West, those are flying monkeys that are going to tell you what you want to hear. But they're not alive and they're not going to tell you that you're in the Decepticon. You're in a lie. You're deceiving yourself. Why? Because they're feeding off of that queen bee uh, lie, that queen bee breast. They're feeding off of the queen bee, so they're not going to tell the queen bee that the queen bee is crazy. And even if the queen bee is going around saying, cut off their head, cut off their head, cut off their head, they're not going to go against that queen bee hive 666 mind, flesh, mind, uh, narcissist, legalist, or whatever, they're not going to go against the hive because they're feeding off the hive. And so you can see that Babylon gets worse. Right now it's bad. And they try to censor everybody. But what happens when the rapture takes place and there's no gospel? There's no restrainer. The church is gone let, until he who let, let it be taken out of the way. And there's no restrainer to restrain what's going to happen. <clears throat> the narcissistic Babylonian system is going to get 10 times worse. And there's no going to be no free will. There's going to be no free thought. There's not going to be any free conversation. It's nothing but blue letter law under the blue letter sky. You're in a book. <clears throat> it's already written. You can see the precursors happening. You can see it. Hitler's trying to come back, right? Hitler's trying to come back. 
What do I got? Potassium citrate. You got potassium gluconate. And you got potassium chloride. What's up with that? Gotta figure out which one's the best for your... Which, which potassium is the best for your body. So every movie is telling you the same thing. Even the Live, Die, Repeat movie. These AI machines were attacking the world in the only way that Tom Cruise was able to defeat him is the blood fell on him and then he could see the future and the path. He could see the future just like they could. So you can see the future claiming the blood. You can see past time because every moment's the same. Every moment's the same. If God wrote a script, don't you think the devil's trying to write a narrative and a script in your life? This is a 3D book. And the devil's already writing scripts. The, the Wiccans and the witches and the warlocks, they're trying to write a script for your life. Jesus withdrew himself. He drew himself outside their script. And so you can withdraw yourself. You can draw a new narrative. You can draw a new storyline. You just don't have to yoke up with them. You don't have to respond to them. You can do the gray rock method. You just look them. You don't let them. Just, they're trying to feed off your emotions. They're just demons, you know. They're trying to put you in fear, doubt, worry, living in the past, take away your identity. They're, they have no new game. And so they're all part of the hive already. It just hasn't uh, culminated 100%. Because God has to mark his saints before the devil knows how to mark his people. And the church has to be raptured out. The devil doesn't know how to put 666 on you yet. That's why he's doing experiments. That's why they're doing experiments. Because they don't know how to do it yet, but they're trying to get ready. They know it's coming. They know that your church is getting caught up. Why do you think they have the, the, the lie about the alien invasion? They got to have a, they got to have a, for Matthew 24, the two will be in the field and one gone. That's actually talking about the judgment. But they're going to, they're going to flip it around and say, oh, the ones who got raptured, those are the ones who were evil. And the, and the aliens took them out. Took the bad people out. They were already saying that you're a terrorist if you believe the Bible. Because, you know, most Republicans at least believe the Bible in some sense. You already know the narrative before they even speak it. They keep doing the same thing over and over. Who? What was Hitler? He was a democratic socialist Nazi. Same thing happening today. There's nothing new. You already know the game. You already know what they're going to do. You know they're liars. You know they're, they think they're gods. You know they're pedophiles. You know they're twisted. You know they're upside down you know everything about them think about righteousness and think about the opposite and take it to the extreme you know that jezebel wants to control she wants to to demasculate the man she wants to usurp the man how come genesis 3 eve wanted to usurp adam the devil wants to usurp god eve wanted to be her own god so what are they doing they want to be their own god but what happens? Man cannot rule himself. 